So it's like down this hallway. There's people like suspended. I can see what they mean by labyrinth. Okay. down a long way is it just a replica from what was up with top Just a dead end. Set for this path. <laughs> Maybe. Hello. <laughs> Where is this going? There. I'm assuming it's down this path. Pretty sure. Oh, it kills the gravity. Touch the wall. I was trying to kept doing earlier when I couldn't figure out what to do. The texts which held the history of this world have long powered down their knowledge lost to time. What data remains to t tales of a star siege journey through the beyond and a tumulus landing on Ember, one they called the captain, emerged from the craft and was pleased with what he saw. It is written that thousands poured from the Star Sea, hurriedly fleeing their world. The new citizens of Ember brought with them incredible technology and began rebuilding their home from memory. It was a time of boundless hope, ingenuity, and creation. A new world, a new hope, for a new life. 
That was before the calamity fell from the beyond, destroying the villages and crippling the star seed. That was before the dust arrived and smothered all life from the this crimson rock. That was a that was before a foolish man opened the star seed and let those diabolical creatures in. The second queen, our fierce nature. Oh my gosh, these are these are queens and things. The first king, Jason. May his friend Jenny keep our, he saved us from oblivion so that we may do good to him. May we never leave him down or extinguish the life or fire that he has sparked. There have been many attempts at travel through the Star Sea. King Jason, our captain, traveled back and forth between the two worlds at will. It is told that he brought incredible machines from another world, machines of amazing power that would come to serve us for generations. Visits between our world and the other became less frequent as we became uninterested in advancing beyond our, our comfort. Knowledge of the star seed degraded with the passage of time as did the machines, which allowed us such a fruitful life, fruitful until King Jacob opened the ancient device once more. A short time after traveling through the star seed, Jacob collapsed back into ember, hysterically covered and covered in sick. He stammered about a world ravaged by an endless sea of flying creatures. It was no coincidence that the cause appeared with their boundless appetites and doomed us all. Those things ended up killing everyone. So we do have to find a way to get out of here. You! Is it your fault? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm assuming I have to get out of here but somewhere in this. Serious? Oh, it can just open up. I was so confused. I was like, why is it not opening? Did I read this one? Mother enjoyed bragging about her impeccable skill with her bus. Yeah. Go ahead, man. Oh. There it goes. So I did read about it. gotta be a thing. This is, how do I do this? It won't let me... I can change it, I can hit it. But it won't let me touch it. Like that?
I'm trying to figure out this puzzle. So this has got to be the part now. Since now I have the art blast. I can finally get the door that I've been trying to open forever. Because... Yeah, I should be able to do this. So the cutscene. That's when I knew I had to get out of there. I woke up one day. I just couldn't breathe. I just kept seeing 50 years flying by, waking up right there in Duncan. There's got to be more to life than that. Look at me. Talking to a chained up space giant about feeling trapped. <laughs> Sorry, big guy. Though I wonder what my friends back home are up to. Probably tubing the couch and river with some cold island brews. Jeez. Hmm. That doesn't sound too bad, I don't know. No, I wouldn't do that. He's <laughs> like, I wouldn't hurt him. Been trying to do that the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, and no reason I, I I I I harped on it was again because I knew that it was a thing. about her impeccable wait did we read this one yeah we read this one huh i wonder if that was meant to be look at bastion he's defenseless you chose him to be in the same call as tusk he's your son If you don't care for him, stop this for me, please. Oh, that, it's him right there. He thinks he's dead. Everyone's dead. of the coal, there has been but one volunteer, a towering brute whom the crowd adored for his cruelty. Every cool the brute efficiently butchered his prey. One cool the brute cornered a young girl. Cajoling, cajoling the crowd, he lumbered forward, his arms outstretched, his fingers wiggling. The young girl feebly swung a shard of ore at the brute, her sickening body barely strong enough to lift the rock. The brute lunged forward and tripped into the shard, trapping the girl between the pit wall and the brute's own skull. A hush fell over the crowd as the two bodies went limp, skewered into the rock. Time seemed to stand still. So that that one guy down there, so that that's literally how the stuff fell over. As if nothing, the brute pulled the shard from the stone wall, the child now dangling lifelessly upon it. Amazed that he was not killed by such a wound, the crowd reached immediate state of euphoria. The spectators gifted the brute a name, 
with their look. Tux. They chanted. T they called him Tux. The mob wants our blood, and we must quench the thirst. Mother said that a royal would need to fight in the coal as a show of solidarity with the people. I knew what was coming, and I tried to stop it. I volunteered to fight, but when they, their names were announced, Sebastian's name ranged out, rang out instead of mine. It looked as if mothers displayed a rare show of generosity by grouping Sebastian with the most sickly of the village. But mother was keenly aware of one fact. Tusk would surely volunteer. All mother would have to do finally rid herself of her problem child was sit and watch. Yet it was not to be. It turned out that mother had underestimated Sebastian and his thirst to survive. Although my brother bested Tusk, he did not come out unscathed. What softness mother had failed to grind out of Sebastian died there in that blood-soaked pit. Sebastian would blame me for, all, for it all as I would blame myself. Dang. So I guess we're gonna go see Sebastian now. Sebastian, uh, to a certain point, was just trying to defend himself. And maybe Mother is actually the evil one? Queen's Palace, maybe? I'm wondering if we're supposed to put... Either grab the purple or... Or... Take the blue. Let's see if I'm supposed to put it here.
that one. Oh. I'm only here for my generous rations. How are you these days? isn't it? Yes. Maybe if I just no. try to... No. Don't touch me. I didn't ask for your help. I'm just trying I to... know what you were trying to do. Don't. You had your chance to protect me and you failed. I know how I let you down and I want to make us right. I'm sorry, Sebastian. Not yet. Excuse me? I said you're not sorry. Not yet. Oh, snap! We are fading, human. We must have union. Find a way to release. We beg of you. Ah, it's just like. Easier. What are you building over there, Sebastian? <laughs> Your lights are on all hours of the night. Parts are going missing all over the temple. Whatever it is, I hope they can help us. Soon we won't even have enough to cover emergency rations. Bring back the call. <laughs> Excuse me? One final call. How can you say that? After I saw you in the pit and you were... You didn't seem to have a problem with it at the time. I was devastated. Oh, but not enough to stand up to Mother. Not enough to stick out your own neck. Will you ever forgive me, Sebastian? Forgiveness? That is one choice that you do not get to make. So I'm going to leave 
the the crystals and try and build these two pieces. Because um, we got the two the two crystals. 